Hello friends, welcome back to Lomedics. In this video, I am going to explain about parts of the male reproductive system. Reproduction is the production of one or more offspring by existing organism. Many organs are involved in the reproduction, so that organs are collectively called as reproductive system. Functions of the male reproductive system. It produces, store and release the male gametes that is sperm and it secretes the protective fluids. It is essential for the continuous reproductive life. Female reproductive system responsible for the reproduction only but in male reproductive system it is responsible for urination as well as the reproduction. During reproduction the flow of urine is blocked from the urethra and it produces male hormones that is responsible for maintaining the male reproductive system. Primary hormones of male reproductive system is follicular stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone and testosterone. FSH it regulates the sperm production, LH it regulates the testosterone production. Testosterone responsible for the sperm production as well as the development of male characters that is muscle mass strength, fat deposition, bone mass, facial hair growth and voice change. The male reproductive organs. There are internal organs, external organs. Internal organs are testis, epididymis, vas deferens and some accessory glands. They are seminal vesicles, prostate and bulbourethral gland. External organs, they are penis and scrotum. Penis is the external genital organ. It helps to transport the sperm. It is attached with the pubic bone and it contains spongy tissue. Whenever it filled with blood, the position of the penis is changed. Issues of penis is corpus spongiosum and corpus cavernosa. It is the outer layer. Now parts of penis. Tube within the penis is urethra. Head of the penis is glands and it is covered with a skin that is propuse. The removal of that skin is called circumcision scrotum. It is a pouch of skin that attaches to the lower part of abdominal wall and it holds the testis and it has many nerve supply as well as a blood supply. It protects the testis and it has special type of muscle that keep the testis at a temperature slightly cooler than the body. It is necessary for the sperm production. Now the testis. Testis is the oval shaped organ. It produces sperm and hormone that is testosterone. Female gonads is ovary. Likewise Male gonads is testis. The size of testis is 4 to 5 cm in length, 2 to 3 cm in width. It is covered by dense connective tissue and it has more than 250 compartments that is called testicular lobules. The testis is covered with a structure, some kind of tissue that is spermatic cord. It has nerves, blood supply, lymphatic vessels as well as the vas deferens. Testis descent. During the fetal formation, the testis is developed at the abdomen. As the development progresses, the testis descend down into the scrotum. Seminiferous tubules. Look at here. The testicular lobule has tightly coiled structure that is seminiferous tubules. It is helpful for the spermatogenesis, sperm production. The immature sperms are produced from the seminiferous tubules are passed into epididymis with the help of reti testis. This is the reti testis. This is the epididymis. It is a tight coiled tissue against the testis. It acts as the maturation and storage place for the sperm. And it is a long coiled tube that rests on the backside of each testicles. During contraction, force the sperm into the vas deferens. This is the vas deferens. Vas deferens. Epididymis continue into vas deferens which is carries the sperm away from the testis. It is also called as ductus deferens. It is the thin tube. It transports the mature sperm from the epididymis to the urethra and it locates just behind the bladder. Ejaculatory duct. The vas deferens and seminal vesicles that join to form the ejaculatory duct. The secretions in the ejaculatory duct directly empty into the urethra. Now the accessory glands. These glands produce the nourishing fluid that is maintained in the sperm. The accessory glands are seminal vesicle, prostate and bulbourethral glands. Seminal vesicle is a sac like pouch that attaches to the vas deferens and near the base of bladder. It produces yellowish fluid that contains fructose. It provides the energy source for the sperm and help to the motility of the sperm. Prostate. It is a walnut shaped structure that located behind the urinary bladder and it surrounds the ejaculatory duct at the base of the urethra. And it produces prostate fluid. It helps to nourish the sperm. Bulbourethral gland. It is also called as corpus gland. It is a pea sized structure. It located at the side of the urethra and just below the prostate gland. This gland produces a clear slippery fluid that empties directly into the urethra and the secretions lubricate the urethra and neutralize any acidity that may be present due to residual drops of urine in the urethra. Pathway of sperm is 
from testes it passed to the epididymis and stored in the epididymis if the epididymis is contract mature sperm pass into the vas deferens and then travel to ejaculate duct and pass in the urethra and it reaches the outside of the body in male the sperm formation is continue even in old men but in female the egg formation that is ovum formation is stopped in certain age that's all about male reproductive system thanks for watching